Hey there, it's Clay with ModernLove.Life and this is Relationship Inner Game. Now this is going to be video three on a series of videos that we are creating on how to really connect on a deeper level with your ex. And specifically, this video is going to answer the question of how to act around your ex. And whenever somebody asks me, how should I act around my ex, my instinctive reaction is to tell them, don't act around your ex. And uh, the, the reason that I say that is because oftentimes people try to put on this, uh, this act, this display around their ex to try and seem, oh, so cool. You know, when, when actually they're like freaking out inside or nervous as hell or something like that. And they want to, you know, come across as like, you know, the alpha male or the person who doesn't care at all. But, but really the most important thing for you to do is not to put on an act around your ex. The most important thing for you to do is to be completely genuine and authentic and forthright with, uh, you know, whatever your experience is. Now, there are a lot of ways that people can absolutely screw this up. You know, for example, the whole begging and pleading and promising you'll change and saying, oh, I'll do anything to get back together with you kind of stuff. Although it is vulnerable, it's not exactly a kind of vulnerability that is really desirable to display to someone else because that vulnerability is using the other person as a means to an end for you to get what you want. So for example, if I want to feel happy and you need to get back together with me in order for me to feel happy and I come to you and say like I want you to get back together with me so that I can feel happy again that's not going to feel good to the other person that's going to make them want to pull away because uh, they don't think that that, that I actually care about their well-being. They think that I'm just using them as a means to an end to feel better about myself. Okay, so that is um, not the kind of vulnerability, not the kind of transparency that you wanna have with your ex. What you wanna do is you want to think about what it is you actually care about. So for example, a lot of people will say, well, I just wanna get back together with my ex. But the real truth is that you probably don't just want to like, be back together in a relationship with your ex. You probably don't want to just go onto Facebook and you know update your status to in a relationship with the person I used to call my ex. You probably want to actually have that connection, that closeness, that romance, that passion, that spark, that fire that the two of you had when you were together. And if that's what you really want, then just go for that and don't obsess over like the you know the relationship that you think is going to get you that because I, I can tell you there are a lot of people that are in relationships right now that don't have passion they don't have uh, all of this desire and drive and romance and all of these other things that maybe you think you might get if you were back together with your ex don't go after the fake prize of like trying to be in the relationship but go after what it is you really want and when you uh, interact with your ex just be open and honest and forthright about that okay and uh, you know, there are all kinds of things that people might worry about when it comes to uh, running into their ex in public or something like that. And absolutely in cases like that, don't worry about putting on an act. Don't worry about trying to seem cool. Don't worry about anything weird like that. Um, it's just gonna come across as kind of contrived. Um, just as like a, a sort of a side story, many years ago I ran into my ex at the grocery store actually. Um, my, my friends and I were going to leave for a camping trip the next day and I had just gone to the grocery store that night to pick up some, you know, little random things that we needed for our trip, you know, hot dogs and marshmallows and stuff like that for s'mores. And um, it was late at night so there was only one register open uh, at the grocery store and I was going around this corner and boom, there was my ex. and. <laughs> We, we like didn't see each other. Oh, she didn't see me, but I saw her. And so I was like, there she is, I gotta get out of here. So I went and I got into that line to, to just buy the things I needed and get out of there. And as I was in line and as the, the clerk was ringing up all my things, my ex gets in line behind me with her uh, new, actually fiance. We were just like kind of pretending not to notice each other. Cause by that point she actually could see me and was aware of me. And so it was just like this really awkward thing. And then I just, uh, got in my car and left and then went back uh, home so that you know I could finish preparing for the camping trip. And then like weird stuff happened. Like she was, she somehow got her fiance to follow me home and it was like totally weird. But anyway, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't try to act cool. Don't try to act like you didn't see your ex. Don't try to put on some sort of like 
Oh, I, I didn't notice you were there. <laughs> Go away. Don't put on any kind of BS act like that. Just be 100% open, honest, and forthright about how you actually feel in a good, positive way without using your ex as a means to an end, okay? So that is how you should act if you were gonna act around your ex, but don't act. Just, just be completely honest and open and forthright about who you are and what your experience is, okay? So if you're watching this video on YouTube, what I'd like you to do is to head down below and click on a link in the description that'll take you to a website called relationshipinnergame.com. And you can go ahead and fill out this short little painless survey. It'll take you about 30 seconds or so, just telling me a little bit about your breakup, your relationship, and what you want to happen. And then I'll just start sending you some advice and strategies and tips on what to do in your situation. If on the other hand, you are already on our email newsletter and you're seeing this video on our website, modernlove.life, just go ahead and click down below and there should be a link that'll take you to another page on our website that'll tell you more about how to have deeper, stronger, more powerful, more uh, poignant, more impactful uh, emotional connections with your ex that will actually bring the two of you closer together again, okay? Anyway, this has been Clay with ModernLove.Life. This has been Relationship Inner Game. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what types of videos you'd like to see us make in the future. Anyway, take care. I'll see you next time.